I was thinking about my late father and his abilities and inabilities to control his wife, my mother. I know that when my father was in his good spirits and in a loving way, that my mother was more cooperative and cordial. I also know that when my mother was out of sorts, my father was more of a bear. But what I think about when I see couples in the community is the couples who really don't care. What I do feel is absolutely shameful is a man who cannot control his wife to the point that she is now seen as a hag of the community and literally an embarrassment to him. And it usually happens when he crosses the cultural divide. I am not any form of racist is what everybody says. But the question I raised some time ago in sort of a Andy Rooney newscast is what is wrong with black women? I don't understand some of this. I don't profess to. It doesn't mean I've never found a black woman absolutely stunningly beautiful. But here's what I don't like to hear. I don't like to hear women of color cursing and screaming at their children. I don't like to see young women stupid about raising them. I don't like to feel that I am out of sorts or out of time or too old to say something, but at the same time I don't want to be called a bitch by some little fucking black girl who thinks she has the right to insult an old white man. We have come so far in the American country in terms of our love of diversity, our regard for humanity, and the true aspect of what is and isn't behavior propriety that I'm absolutely beyond offended to see these young people who just don't get it. That so many of their background, so many people from their heritage, and so many black people from history have died for their rights today. And yet these kids raise children who are not appropriate in society today because they refuse to pick up a book at a library or a Goodwill store that talks about appropriate child rearing and that they are the people that have latchkey children. But the question is, at what time do they begin this? At what time do they start this? You see, there's an age and stage and appropriate behavior for every child that has been studied beyond 60 years across America, at least. So there is no excuse for raising a wayward child today. You have all the resources at your disposal, all the help you can possibly get by putting your children into church-oriented day school, and openly they'll be loved and cared for there because they have the legal liability to do that there. But if you don't have the money, I don't believe a lot of those programs are requiring that because the church itself supports them. So again, there's no excuse for not producing a fully functioning, fully thinking, fully linguistically appropriate child. 